Hey guys, we are back in the Shaw Manor. Here we have Luella working on her pipe. Adelaide, as you can see in the back room, I have placed a bar for her to make some particular concoctions that she learnt with the vampire lure skill. Currently she's just practicing, but I'm just excited that we're back Adelaide has saved her mother. Cornelius, however, is still hibernating. But, with the way things are going, Adelaide's pretty happy with herself. She's a prime vampire, she's getting stronger, she no longer has a master, she's got the points she needs. And Luella's getting there as well. Um, in the last episode, Luella did defeat um, Jade and Luella's now back so this episode Luella now gets to meet the team Adelaide has constructed while Luella was prisoner so in that time Adelaide has done so much and we're gonna get there Okay, so she needs some more plasma fruit if she's going to make the ultimate curse. But I haven't exactly been planning on her for slaying anyone just yet. But anyway, this part, um, Luella will get to meet the team. Hopefully, that is. That is the entire plan for this episode is that Luella gets to see them. and so I'm just working things through in my head at this particular time and considering the fact that they need Wernus as, as part, of the, part of Adelaide's revenge they need to meditate it would only seem right if there was a place for them to meditate I'm just going to get rid of this bed, get rid of this chest of drawers because I don't need any more, and I think it's time Adelaide's progressed enough for her to get a coffin of her own, so we're just going to go spend a lot of money on the big expensive coffin, and through that, are you, are you serious? Oh my days. This hates me, so let's get this freestanding mirror out of the way and it still doesn't fit this this thing hates me it absolutely hates me so I'm just gonna throw that in there yay we done it and throw that there yeah that works um right so let's move this there and we don't really need that so get rid of that because we have the that there and it's sorted ta-da done finished and Adelaide can start meditating because of course she gets some of her brilliant ideas 
and uh, as you can see just going over Sleep of the Undead um, yeah just because she might as well get she may as well get that weakness I mean there's a coffin basically in every single building in Forgotten Hollow and there's no particular reason now for her to sleep elsewhere and we are going to go see what those get once she becomes Grandmaster oh yes I just remember I called her Prime Vampire no she's a Master Vampire now isn't she yes um so we are going to see what those um, Grandmaster level weaknesses are although I could look at them now I'm not going to because I don't make decisions and I don't like the idea of reading them beforehand so in the back of my mind I make a decision before it happens yes I have a, I have a rough idea of what I want to happen um, yes I have a particular plan of where I want this let's play to go but of course just like in a tabletop RPG if the roll of a dice doesn't go your way things change and adapting to that is a good thing I like doing because that way although you plan a story to be a particular way you're still open to the fact that it could go a different way and it's basically like reading a book or even writing a book you can have a plan of where things go but if you get a better idea or all of a sudden you realize oh yeah your character's gonna do this then it will change slightly and that's what I like that's also then another reason why at the very end I'm still open to the fact of Adelaide losing because I don't know how I want this to finish because as much as I really care and want Adelaide to win I'm fully open to the fact that not every story gets a happy ending and although I'm so invested and will try for Adelaide to win I'm not going to influence anything if she happens to fail she fails that is it yes I may continue as Luella continuing on and Sophia continuing on and Alicia continuing on in say her memory but I will not influence whether or not she does well so yeah um just so you guys really know why I'm just leaving to do what they want while um um Adelaide's meditating Luella's on her pipe organ it's basically because I can't start the gathering now so because it's still early morning and although they're vampires and although it's a gathering I don't believe they will turn up because of course sleeping because I still think that vampires, although I haven't tested it out, that vampires operate similar to sims in that they are considered sleeping during the night time. But, of course, as I said numerous times, I haven't exactly checked it out, I'm not 100% sure. But I don't particularly want to take the risk of wasting time, especially when Adelaide can continue with her wellness. Because I feel the fact that wellness is important to building up her character and for relieving herself for getting this clear clarity so she can make ideas because many ideas I have of influencing factors are sometimes what comes up in there for example it came up earlier the fact that one of her characters she thought of an idea for her, and so her writing increased so that means she's then able to see past that particular dilemma just like earlier on when she was meditating in the cave she found forgiveness for Rosita so that then means she's now more inclined to go to Douglas and Rosita for help if she needs it than she would have if she didn't have forgiven Rosita so although that hasn't changed the fact that she's already gone it then tells me the fact that she is open for the idea um so 
bloody hell. She has quite a lot of enemies. I mean, you got the Sorrells, and you got Bellatrix, Jade, who essentially is the main antagonist. Then we have these eight vampires. You have her, who has no part. Caleb's had a little part. I mean, he was in a dungeon, sister. Amy's just Sorrell's daughter. She's a teenager, which means she can't battle, which means she won't be involved, really. She's just there because she is. She may have even evolved, um, not evolved, aged up into a young adult by now. And um, then you've just got Draco. Well, he may pay a part in some of it I'm just really thinking now but if Amy's leveled up that could change things then of course we saw Dorin and Narcissa and Anchor they've already appeared in the Jade special a few episodes back and yes we're just adding Luella because Luella hasn't been added yet which means now she does know them so it's not like an actual official meeting I'm just going to leave her there. This is more of an Luella's occasion. But. Yes. So now she has officially met them. So there will be no friendly introduction. Interaction. So. Once the gathering starts. It's just. Getting. Now the fact that she's. Leveled up. I'm just going to start it. So. Once I get her to stop, okay, so Sophia's arrived and has batted off already, and Kat's arrived, she's gonna go somewhere. Oh, and there's Alicia, I was just wondering if she would turn up. Um, okay, so Kat's at the computer, so we're gonna get Luella to stop and to speak to Kat, because of course they are of the same time period, I mean cat's a little older and but Luella was a vampire in Forgotten Hollows the same time Cat was. They may never have came across past but they'd most likely heard of each other. And especially after Cat got banished, the fact that there would have been lots of talk and gossip about Cat afterwards. Oh, so there Sophia was. Sophia was in that coffin. Um, yeah, why is she in an athletic wear though? That's a bit strange. Um, yeah, get to know each other. I can see Luella and Kat having quite contrasting personalities, or well, some parts of their personalities being contrasting, in the fact that Luella's still much of order. Whereas Cat isn't. Cat's almost like a free for all. But then at the same time, they both have quite a lot of. Okay, so as you can see, we've got that. So we've got that much. Um, we're just going to stop her meditating because it comes up saying she's levitating. And I'm not sure if that's then contributing to the points so I'm gonna get it to stop get it to continue so I feel more confident in the fact that that's giving us more points but Luella and Kat are being friendly which means and mischievous as well um, which means they're getting us points as well just because really I don't know where the points went from our previous gathering because we had about 200 because I, I remember because we're coming up to the point where we could get another person if necessary which is probably what we are going to get just in case the situation I mean we've got one space left part of a condition is the fact that you need to be a vampire and at the current situation Douglas or actually now that I think about Cornelius one of those okay so fear's going asleep again so, yes, no, 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 it's just not happening. Um, then we have Alicia. Alicia's 
probably the least vampire out of all of them. Because um, of course she di she didn't have the opportunity to train while Adelaide was staying with them, whereas Sophia did, and Sophia had some improvement as that part, only because Alicia was pregnant at the time. Um, that child's probably a toddler at this point, so in future episodes involving these guys more, that toddler may just make an appearance. Um, especially seeing we haven't explored all the toddlers have to bring, because I believe you can have a toddler and have the toddler during the entire time from birth as a baby then make it a toddler once it ages up and then to the point where it ages up into a child I still think during that duration you still haven't learned all you can about toddlers because of course each toddler is different so different traits may influence things in different ways and then of course with the vampires we don't know how vampire toddlers take things. It may be like previously in Sims 3 where when playing with a toy such as Bluffy, although back then it was I think it was Wellington Bear? Wellington? Something like that? In which case the vampire toddler would bite the neck of the bear. So there may be similar interactions there and of course we don't have a toddler which means we can observe that behaviour with Alicia's toddler and if it ever comes a point where Adelaide has a child we can then witness it there but it mostly seems as, a, as if things are getting on quite similarly I mean this is all them focusing on Luella getting to know the different members and it appears the fact that Sophia really couldn't care but it's a good thing though that um, Kat is getting to know her, so uh, um, Alicia. So this is mainly focusing on their conversations, really. I mean, there's only so much things that can happen. I'm just really looking. This place doesn't seem very th very full. It looks like Clara is the only one in Forgotten Hollow at the moment. I was just having a look because Luella's thirsty so we could go out for a hunt. What we may do is get her to invite someone over and drink from them. Because she's thirsty, it's daytime. Okay. How is he already here? He's not on the lot. He may be in Forgotten Hollow, but we cannot leave the house. Not because of that bloody arch that I have no idea why I keep around. But. So glad she knows more than one person. Thank you, Amelia. The sacrifice will be duly noted. But we're just gonna go straight. Oh, Sophia's down. Yeah, you know, bunch. Hear a knock at the door. Straight there. Being nosy. I'm gonna be the unsocial person of the group and just spend my time in coffins instead of anything else, like socialize. And then the moment I hear a knock at the door, I'm going to be nosy. I'm going to leave the coffin and come down and see who it is. But... Luella? Bye, Sophia. Yes, Louise... Lu uh, sorry, can't really speak. Luella is feeding. Um, okay, Sophia's starting to talk to Alicia in the background there. Get to know... You know your daughter. She's been alive for 50 years, although she stopped aging at 20. Um, but... How are you getting... Oh, no. 
just fine, Adelaide. So, done feeding, Lorraine's done feeding. Um, so, we're just going to go in, is she blocking the way? No, you're just going to walk straight for her? No, nope, that's fine. Not a problem with me. Um, she's getting there, she's talking with them, she's friendly, it's in the green. They may not be friends yet, but things are getting there. I mean, I'm happy with the progress for now. Um, things could be going worse, they could be all as unsociable as Sophia. But I think things have gone fairly well. I mean, Cat and Noella are getting along swimmingly. Elise is making her contributions to the conversation. Sophia hasn't made any contributions at all. She's basically spent the entire day in a bloody coffin. Then, of course, I'm she has the vampire creation, so we may actually turn... Amelia when she gets up just so we can then explore that aspect because that is an aspect I haven't actually covered we are exploring different parts of being a vampire in this story although it is very story driven it is not explorative um, there is more story than explorative but we are still exploring a lot of new features, primarily, and we cannot turn. Why? Because she's fed recently. Right, okay, so part of, I need to mentally note that, so part of transforming a sim is them feeding. So that would be then Luella feeding on them, and probably most logically them feeding on her because then they're getting vampire vampiric tastes and then also you've got the DNA mix and there's different ways you can turn into a vampire different I mean there's been so many different considerations that it could be anything but regardless I'm going to end this part here there's been chats there's been talks there's been this that it's mainly just been a quick discussion I could have done this off screen but I thought it's important to the storyline that Luella gets to meet the group so here it is but that's all so I'll see you guys see you lot in the next episode Bye guys!